and today we are working with the activities of Tuesday 24. Okay? So, what is the objective of the competition? We are going to work with irregular verbs and we are going to check what might be the difference between regular and irregular and how to differentiate them. Okay? So, let's start. Well, first of all, I think here some verbs that you already know that are very common like speak, run, enjoy, have, jump, write, play, hook. And I'm wondering if you remember the past of these verbs. I think that yes, they are very, very common. Okay, let's go. So, what might be the past of speak? Spoke. Okay, later. Be right. Huh? Right? Okay, I want you to make an activity. Okay, I just want you to observe with this. Would you, you tell me very fast? Speak. Spoke. Run. Run. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Leave. 
page. What is the cost of the verb to be and to option? We have once and we have the word, right? Many. Travel, what is the cost for travel? It's regular, it's traveled. Go, wait. Walk, walked. Meet, met. Buy, boat. Love, lot. Okay, if you don't know this class, my students, you have two options. You can check on internet, there are many charts and whatever, or you can check your list of verbs. You have some list of verbs written in your notebook, you have a digital list of verbs, you have many things that you can be checking, yes? So you can do and I am thinking, I will upload the list of verbs to the platform so you can observe this situation better, okay? So again, you have to complete, uh huh. So we start. I will help you with the first one, okay? I very poor. I how how can I say? In this moment, I am very poor because I don't have money. But in the past, we are going to use the verb to be. Ah, but be careful. We have three times the verb to be, eh? So I was. I was very poor when I first. And you continue to be. I already told you with one. So I already have one. We are three, okay? Yes, only that. You complete with the past. Okay, but you do not be present. Okay? Careful. Let's continue. Second activity. Later. Okay. In the second activity, you have to. Which of the verbs that you wrote in the activity? I mean, in this activity, which ones are irregular? Look. I want you to write here the ones that are irregular. Only the irregular, for example, is sleep irregular? No, because it finishes with ed, right? Is the verb to be irregular? Yes, of course, because it changes, right? We say that the verb to be irregular is was. The past story is was, so of course that is irregular. So here, I will write the verb to be, comma, and you continue, yes? You continue with only the irregular, my students. Later, in the activity number three, we are going to complete the story with the correct past tense of the verb in parentheses. Okay? It, again, what is the past of be? It was or it were? It is singular, so we are going to say it was. Okay? Be careful. The verb to be is a little bit weird, but to, to clarify with the simple five, we are going to have the verb to be two options. Was. And where? What is the situation? Here is for singular. And where is for plural? Okay? Plural and you. You singular and you plural. Remember that the um, personal pronoun you is used for singular and for plural. Both. Uh -huh. So, you. Uh, so, it is singular, right? If we are referring to one. Uh, so it was a lovely day in town yesterday. Yesterday, Athena. Where is the past of seat? Okay, go to your list of verbs if, if you don't know. If you know, well, Athena sat on a bench and. Where is the past of play? It's regular, my students. Play uh -huh. and so on. Yes, my students, please be careful with this. With this. Exercise. Right. So again, we are practicing with the past. Uh -huh. And oh my God, we have to complete this one. Okay. Bring present past rank past participle room. Okay. So you have to check your list of verbs so you can. Now we are going to do it first. First, please, I want you to try to fill the chart with your with the knowledge that you have. Be honest with you. Nothing happens. Nobody's observing. Nobody will tell you, I have this Nothing. Nothing happens. You just complete with the verbs. Uh -huh. Okay, I already know. Okay. Wait, I know that the past is walk. Okay. And past is No, I don't know. You don't feel it. You don't know. Don't worry. Nothing happens. But yes, in a second moment of the activity, I will ask you to go to the list of verbs and be checking. So you, ah, I didn't know, I know that the past is walk, but I didn't know that the past participle is walking. But today I'm 
learn. Uh -huh. So please, don't worry, be happy. First moment, alone. No list of first. Second moment, list of first, and you complete all the charts. Yes, my students? Please. Okay. In the piece, and according to this, we have an explanation about the irregular verbs. And they are going to use some examples. Uh -huh. Some examples. Please, if you want to read, read it, check. Check the different manners. They explain to you what I already explained to you. Look, uh, three parts identical. Let, first, cause, cause, three words, let. They don't change. They are exactly the same word for the three times. But there are some other words that are going to be changing. Like, look, break, broke, broken. How they are going to change? They are going to modify maybe one letter, maybe two letters, maybe the order of the letter, maybe they quit the letter. I mean, they are many manners of the regular verbs. Again, the only way we have to learn them is studying my students. That's the only way we have. Okay? Later. Let's go. Last activity of the book, my students. Write about the time you went on a trip. I want you to remember a time when you went on a trip. Maybe to Acapulco, to Cancun, to, I don't know, Europe, I don't know. Whatever you want, but you went on vacation on a trip. Okay? And I want you to list all the activities that you remember doing and what other people did too. Make sure to use the appropriate time. My students, we are going to describe about a memory that we have about something that happened in the past. So we must use the past, right? You cannot say, ah, okay, I go to Acapulco. I go to Acapulco. In this moment, now, right, we are in the home because of this COVID-19. Yes, so, no, we are going to use the past, of course. So, I, where's my talk? Okay, I went to Acapulco because that is something that already happened in the past, my students, okay? So, yes, I went to Acapulco and so on. Please, you, I want you to tell me there is no limit. The limit is your imagination, <laughs> no, your memory. Uh -huh. And I want you to tell me what happened. Uh -huh. What happened in your vacation? Tell me, list of events. Uh -huh. You can tell me, I went to Acapulco, okay? Uh -huh. I went to Acapulco, I played in the ball, I swam in the ocean, I went to, uh, to the sea. I don't know, you just tell me all the activities that you did. Remember, they are all those stuff with the personal program. I, because you are talking about your memory. But if you want to talk about your mother, you start with my mother, I don't know, my mother, drunk, past, uh, piña colada, I don't know. Mm, which are delicious. And my mom swam fast in the ocean, and I played fast in the sun. And yes, and you can continue with your list. Please, my students, help me to complete this list in fast. Yes, and well, that's it for the book activity. Now, I will show it to you. Where are the activities that we have for today? Tuesday. Oh, let me erase. Okay, Tuesday, pages 62 and 63 that I already explained. Second, okay, check again the glossary words and we are going to work with the glossary words. What are the things that we are doing? We are going to move. We are going to divide uh -huh, in six spaces your notebook. You make an addition in your notebook. Okay, imagine that this is your sheet of paper of the notebook. You write your date and the title. Uh -huh. And you divide into six sections. Oh my god, one, two, three, four, oh, sorry. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because in each of these six squares, I want you to make one drawing. One drawing for guitar, hand, left, lovely shot, and anything. Yeah? So, guitar is the second, right? It's because today is easy to draw, okay? So, in your notebook, you are going to draw. A guitar. Yes? This is 
your notebook, okay? It's an example, my students. You can do it much better than me, that's for sure. Uh -huh. And you tell me, and you draw an illustration uh -huh, of the vocabulary that we are working with, okay? That is the second activity. Third activity. Ah, that is something you will like. You have to enter to Kahoot with this thing, uh -huh, and you have to check your understanding about the regular verbs. There, you have some questions about the regular verbs. And you have to answer the kahoot. Yes, my students, I hope you have fun playing kahoot. And the last is to solve pages 112 and 13 from your awesome reader. Remember that you, yesterday, you read the awesome reader again. Uh -huh, so you can answer a plan of quiz. Now I want you to answer the activities that are mentioned on pages 112 and 113. These activities are very, very easy. They are asking about the trip to the United Kingdom. If you like reading, what was your favorite part, which of these three places that they are mentioning there is the best, what happened with the Stonehenge, no? All of these situations that we already checked with the awesome reader, yes? And that's it for today. No more activities. Uh, please be doing these activities daily so you don't have a lot of activities at the end of the week. And if you have any questions, here I am. I am in the forum. I am the development of the school. And I can help you uh, anyhow you need. Yes? Thank you very much. And see you tomorrow. Bye.